Hi, I'm Dee Dee Daniels. I've been a fitness professional in the South Bay for over 25 years. And for the past 17 of those years, I've been a yoga practitioner and teacher. Yoga has many benefits. It strengthens and stretches the body. It helps to quiet and focus the mind, as well as calm the nervous system. So in this show, we're going to do some basic flow style yoga. Here's what you'll need. A soft floor surface, carpet is great, enough space to move around your arms and legs with ease, as well as lie down stretched out on the floor. You need comfortable stretchy clothing. A yoga mat makes things easier and more comfortable, but it's optional. If you don't have a mat, a large towel is fine. And for balance, a sturdy chair to hold onto or a wall to lean against is helpful. You may want a small towel in case you sweat, and at the end, you may use it to cover your eyes in relaxation. Have some water close by to rehydrate yourself. And remember, always work at your own pace. Modify things when needed and rest whenever you need to. Okay, let's begin. So we're lying on our back and we're breathing deeply. Be comfortable here. Close your eyes. We're going to breathe through our nose because it creates air that's more easily used by our lungs. If your nose is stuffy, of course, you can breathe through your mouth. Place your hands on your abdomen and try to direct your inhale all the way down toward your hands. Fill your lungs fully and then exhale completely. This deep breathing is going to set us on our journey our yogic journey. And now from here, we'll turn over onto our hands and knees. Bring your wrists under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. If you're not comfortable with your palms flat, then you can be up on your fists instead. From here, find a neutral spine position, shoulders away from ears, head and neck in line with the rest of the spine. On your next inhale, lift your chin, lift your tailbone, and then on the exhale, round, tuck your chin and tailbone under, and go back and forth. Try to move your spine as much as you can from the tailbone through the crown of the head. And then slow that movement down and come back to a neutral position. We'll shift the hips to one side and the shoulders to the opposite side. Back and forth. So in this beginning part of our movement, we're preparing the body. So right now we're preparing our hips, shoulders, forearms, wrists, waist muscles, back muscles. Come back to the center and then walk your hands a little further forward so they're out in front of your shoulders a bit. Pick up your right hand, inhale, reach the right arm through as you exhale. Come back up as you inhale, switch hands, and then go through with the left arm as you exhale. Repeat that. As you reach through, turn your chest. As you reach through, try to touch your hand, your elbow, and maybe your shoulder down. Keep your hips lifted. Try not to sit back too far. Let's come back to the center now. Hands and knees position. Tuck your toes under. Inhale. Sit back into child's pose with the toes tucked under as you exhale. 
Walk your hands a little further forward now. Inhale, come back up. Move your feet wider. And as you exhale, lift your knees and walk your hands back toward your feet. Soften your knees as much as you need to and hold on to your elbows. So we want the elbows to be close to the floor. So bend your knees a little more if that's what it takes. Feel the lengthening happening in your spine. Now we'll go side to side with the torso. So shift your torso like a pendulum from side to side. Check in with your breathing. Make sure it's still deep. And then we'll come back to the center and we'll walk the hands forward and sit back into child's pose. Now the tops of the feet are resting on the floor in this version of our child's pose. Walk the hands as far forward as your body will let you. Keep the hips back against the heels. And then on an inhale, travel forward into half plank and exhale, sit all the way back. And we'll do this a few times. As you come forward, shoulders away from the ears. As you sit back, relax, let your back round a little bit. As you come forward, make sure you're not collapsing into a back bend. Exhale, back, two more. This time, inhale forward into full plank pose. So tuck your toes, lift your knees. Exhale, move into downward facing dog. Alternate your heels here, one heel at a time, pressing down. Feel the calf stretch. And then press both heels evenly down. Turn the tailbone up a little higher. And we'll drop the knees down. Untuck your toes. We'll come to an upright kneeling position. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, or hold your towel if that feels better for your shoulders. Draw your shoulder blades back. Take some deep breaths into your chest. Now we'll release that. Take your right hand down the right side of your body and raise your left arm up and over. Feel the side stretch and switch over to the other side. And then we'll come back down into child's pose. So extend your arms forward, sit all the way back with your hips. Inhale, come forward into plank pose and then move into downward facing dog. So now we'll do a sequence starting from downward facing dog. Inhale forward into half plank. So come forward, drop your knees down. Exhale, lower your body down with your elbows squeezing in against your ribs. Inhale, lift your chest into cobra. And then tuck your toes. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. So that's a sequence that we'll revisit several times today. From here, you're in downward facing dog, sinking both heels evenly down. Keep your knees bent if you need to, but keep your back neutral and straight. We're going to step the right foot forward now. So look forward between your hands and step your right foot forward. If you don't get all the way up between your hands on the first step, take a second or even a third step to get all the way up there. And then flatten out your back foot. Let's go to side angle pose where we're going to rest the right forearm on the right thigh, turn the navel to the left, and then reach the left arm straight up or bring it over next to your ear. Stay here. Make sure you're breathing. So the body should have an angled shape to it. And then take your hands down next to your front foot. Step both feet back into downward facing dog. Now we step the left foot forward. Step it up, take an additional step or two if you need to. Back foot is flat, rest your forearm, 
reach your top arm up. Stay here. Now, if you tend to lose your balance easily, remember you can have a chair nearby to rest your hand on just to steady yourself if you need it. And it helps if you keep your eyes focused on a single point. That's called a focal point. That helps you with balance. Take your hands down to the front of the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Now let's go back to that sequence that we did just a moment ago. Inhale forward into plank, lower your knees down for half plank, and then exhale, lower yourself all the way down. One cobra as you inhale, and then back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Step your right foot forward, inhale, flatten out your back foot, and as you exhale, move your right foot to the right just a few inches. Let's come up to warrior one. So lift your chest, take your hands together in front of your heart, turn your chest forward, keep your front knee very bent. The legs are working hard, the core muscles are working hard for this pose. And then both hands come down, step back into downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward and flatten your back foot. Warrior one on this side, so we'll move the left foot to the left a few inches and come on up. So we're facing forward and the hands are in front of the heart. Feel the back bend here. Create as much back bend as you can without feeling uncomfortable we never want to work in a painful range. We want to stay pain free. Take another deep breath here. And then both hands come down, stepping back into downward facing dog. Inhale plank, half plank. Exhale lower down. One cobra as you inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Right foot steps forward, flatten out the back foot. Warrior two, which is a sideways facing pose. So your front foot is facing forward, your front knee is facing forward, your navel and your heart are facing side. Arms come up to shoulder height. Make sure the pelvis is level. And if you need to, you can take your hands on your pelvis just to feel that it's level. The arms are reaching straight out from the shoulders. If your arms get tired, you can take your arms down. Try to stay in the pose though. And then the hands come down and we step back into downward facing dog. Now left foot steps up. Back foot is flat. Warrior two on this side. Brace through the shoulders as if your arms were much heavier than they actually are. Check to make sure your front knee is over your front ankle. Breathing deeply here. Hands come down, feet step back, downward facing dog, plank, half plank, lower yourself down one cobra, and then downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward now, back foot flattens. Let's straighten out the legs and move into triangle. So your right hand comes to your right shin, your navel and your heart face left, and your left arm reaches straight up. Imagine that you're up against a wall. There's a wall behind you. You're going to try to flatten your body out to the best of your ability in this position. Flatten against the imaginary wall that's behind you. Keep the head and neck lined up with the rest of the spine. And now bend your front knee and sweep your left hand down to the floor. Pivot up onto the tiptoes of your back foot. Inhale, make a straight line from your head to your back heel. As you exhale, raise your right arm up. So the twist is happening through the spine. Try to keep your hips centered and level. 
shoulders away from ears. That was twisting lunge. Let's take the hands down. Step back into downward facing dog. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side. So left foot steps up. Flatten out your back foot. Let's move into our triangle pose, straightening the legs, the torso, and the arms. Try to snuggle yourself up against your imaginary wall. That's a helpful visualization for you. Use it. Find your breath. Find your balance. And then we bend the front knee. Take the right hand down this time and make your straight line from your heel to your head. And on an exhale, raise your left arm up for the twisting lunge. Breathe, even though it's not easy to breathe in this position. All right, and then we'll take the hands down, step back into downward facing dog, and let's rest in child's pose. So for just a moment, you can separate your knees if you need to. You can put your hands under your forehead. Just let yourself rest. Try to be in this moment 100% mentally as well as physically. All right, let's rise up to our hands and knees and then to an upright kneeling position and then step one foot forward, hands on your front leg and stand all the way up or come up to a standing position in a way that works for you. We'll move into tree pose now. So this is a balancing sequence. Make sure that you have your chair with your hand on the back of the chair right near you in case you need it. Let's turn the right knee out to the right. You can leave your toes on the floor or you can move your right foot up to your left calf or you can move the foot up to the inner thigh. Hands in front of the heart. It's helpful here if you keep your eyes on a stationary point. Again, that's called our focal point. And then from here, right hand holds right ankle and left arm goes up. Feel the stretch in the front of your leg. Keep the breath happening. And now both feet down and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Your left knee turns out to the left. Your hands are in front of your heart and your foot goes up to match whatever you did on the first side. Strong core muscles are helpful here. And then left hand around left ankle both feet down and then we'll come down onto our hands and knees once again so you can step one foot back followed by the other and then sweep your feet around and sit bring your legs in front of you you can sit up on something if that helps you to sit up taller you can grab a sofa cushion for example otherwise just sit on the floor Lean forward. You can wiggle around a little bit to get the clothing situated underneath you. Relax your shoulders. Try not to round your back too much. All right, leave the legs as they are. Sit up and then we'll take the right foot all the way across to the left side. So push the right foot down on the left side of the thigh. Sit up tall. Wrap your arm around and we'll look over our right shoulder. So this is a twist. Make sure you're sitting up tall in order to twist 
to your maximum. Make sure you're still breathing. And then we'll face forward. Take your right foot directly in front of your left foot, so they're end to end, and then lean forward once again. So you'll feel this stretch a little bit more in your outer right hip. Let's come up, extend your right leg all the way forward, straighten it out, flex your right foot, inhale, reach up, and on the exhale, hinge forward. Take your hands down and lean your torso forward without rounding. So feel this stretch down the back of your right leg. And then we'll come all the way up. Bring the soles of the feet together once again. Pick up your left foot and step it all the way over to the right side. And now we'll twist around to the left. Take your left hand behind you. Make sure that you're sitting up tall. Each time you inhale, try to gain more length in your spine. Each time you exhale in this pose, you wanna to try to deepen the twist a little bit. to facing forward. Take your left foot, place it in front of your right foot and lean into the stretch. Soften your jaw, relax your neck a little bit. Sitting up now and extending your left leg forward, reaching up, inhale, coming forward and down, exhale. Stay here, keep breathing. help ourselves up now we're gonna roll down onto our back so again turn so you can see bring your knees into your chest take both knees over to the left stack them on that side and then reach your right arm out to the right so this is a spinal twist we want both shoulders down if you need to separate your knees in order to get your shoulder down make sure you do that Relax your neck. Now your top knee comes across, the bottom knee will follow eventually all the way over to the other side. Stack your knees and reach your left arm out this time. See if you can feel gravity pulling you a little deeper into this position. Try to relax and let that happen. back to the center. Knees into the chest. Now you want to pick up your smaller towel, fold it so it can go across your eyes, and we're going to stretch out completely flat. So if completely flat isn't comfortable for your back, of course you can keep your knees bent, but try to go completely flat if you can. Slide your shoulder blades down away from the base of your skull. Turn your palms up. Covering your eyes sends a relaxation message to your nervous system, and it also helps to block out some light, which is always more relaxing. So we're just gonna settle in here, get comfortable, and most importantly, get quiet and still. Let your breath become quieter, your muscles are quiet. Turn the volume down in your head and enjoy this 
few moments of relaxation. here as long as you can. Thank you so much for joining me and thank yourself for doing something so wonderful for yourself. I'll see you next time.